love to hear it. Love to hear that sound. It it means the walleye are back in town and ready to go. So welcome back to Good Day on the Road. Mm -hmm. We're in downtown Toledo at the Huntington Center (laughs) getting ready uh, for opening weekend for the walleye. Yeah, so this voice should sound a little bit familiar to you. You probably heard it during, well, a lot of different places. Mud Hens games, announcing Tigers players at Comerica Park, and echoing through the venue here at the Huntington Center. Yeah, so we're talking about walleye public address announcer Bob Virgils. He joins us this morning. Uh, so, Bob, good, good morning. morning to good you. Good morning. I'm, I'm retired. This is really early for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you getting up and coming out here for us because you've got a big job to do starting tomorrow, don't you? I can't wait. This place <laughs> is going to be rocking. I happened to talk to Coach Mekish just a little bit before he went on. Mm-hmm. I said, you've never seen this place on opening night, but it is like nothing you've ever seen, especially coming from, from Green Bay, which right. is you know, not as, as big a venue as this. Uh, it's going to be rocking and rolling. <laughs> All kinds of fun stuff. All weekend, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. love that. So, it's Bob, a- uh, being the voice of the walleye, uh, that has to be pretty special for you. It's always been special. This is where my public address career started. It was in Toledo, and it's taken me to Detroit and Ann Arbor and, mm-hmm. and Ford Field with the Lions and, and a whole bunch of stuff. But it started here, and when I had a chance to come back a couple of years ago, I, when I moved back from Florida, I said, absolutely, I'll come back. This is <laughs> And these fans are the best fans ever, ever. Uh, they're rocking and rolling. You always know there's going to be 8,000 of them here, mm-hmm. uh, and that's on a slow night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're very fortunate, and I tell you, the team that's been brought into Toledo this year, fantastic team again. Uh, Waddy might have left, but with Pat coming in, mm-hmm. didn't even miss a beat. Haven't well, even missed a beat. We are looking forward to it. You know, how do you get prepared for, for game night? A lot of different ways, uh, especially with the roster. Uh, I, the, with uh, rosters being online, now you can go and you, you start to prepare. You look at those names, you just say, you know what, I wonder if that one might be kind of questionable. <laughs> so I'll ask a, a broadcaster. Or a lot of times now you can go online and you can actually hear the pronunciation. So uh, you, you hear the player saying it himself. Mm-hmm. And, oh, gosh, there's... <laughs> There's not a lot of unforgivable sins in my business, but if you haven't taken a chance to find out how to say a guy's name right, uh, and I, I did get two of our guys' names wrong in the exhibition game, but they will be right on Friday night. He has fixed nice. it. He has uh, studied up, done that homework. I imagine there are some interesting There are names. some yeah. interesting oh. names. Now. And, and we have one of them right here, Kirill Tutayev. When I first saw that name, I go, oh, no. Wait, why couldn't we get Joe Smith? But I really like saying that name. And uh, when it, and he gets a lot of points. So you get to say it a lot a of lot. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to get it right. Yeah, and, and I'm so glad he came back. So so glad he's came yeah, back Yeah, I love year. that. And, and Bob, you you get such a great perspective of everything that's going on on the uh, on the ice mm-hmm. and also with the fans and the fans have so many unique traditions here at the Huntington <laughs> Center. What are your favorites? I knew that he was going to come up. I, I, I love that question up for you. Yeah. Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, they, they boo me and I'll never forget my my dad one time uh, he, he died a number of years ago but I brought him to a, a, a Toledo hockey game and, and they were booing me then and I said dad the fans really love me. It, it's <laughs> really great here. And then when I said my name, and 8,000 people, boo. That's, I thought you said these people like you. But they're they're very good people. Uh, in fact, when Dad died, the very first uh, floral arrangement we got were from the hockey fans of Toledo. Wow. And, and they didn't know my dad. Right. Uh, that, that just shows the, the bond that we have. And um, I can't wait this year uh, till February 9th. I don't know if that's been uh, talked about yet. We'll put it on the calendar. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. He's doing it. I, I get a bobblehead. All right. <laughs> yep. And, I, and I've been practicing. <laughs> Well, you're doing great, and I can't, I imagine you can't wait to to yell that first goal or you know. Oh, first goal or hey, tea time! <laughs> the first time they come, I, I had to kind of pull the microphone back a little bit because I know the the amplitude is just yeah. a little high. But uh, you know, at my age and what I've gone through to get back, every game is a bonus, mm. and to be able to see these fans, it's for me, it's like coming to a family reunion 
almost 40 times mm -hmm. a year because I get to see these folks and, and they're just so good to me and and uh, um, well we can't wait to hear you up there in the box yeah. oh and I, I can't wait till this place goes not it, you know it's funny to look around and there's I no know. one here <laughs> yeah and within 36 hours this place will be mm -hmm. packed you won't be able to put two Quite more legs difference. in here <laughs> uh, so it's it's really good and this this is the best arena in minor league hockey I'm, I'm convinced I've it's been to several so others but this is this is fantastic <laughs> and and Pat's brought an excellent team in this year and I'm really excited because we just got assigned a second guy from Monroe Michigan so mm -hmm. this will be the very first time ever that two players are from Monroe Michigan right. on the very same pro team in the history of Monroe County, you know, because I know that, that that's where I'm from, so I, I kind of lots of excitement there Pretty for you. To well, you. Well, oh, we can't very, wait. very much yeah. so. We're looking forward to tomorrow, Bob. Thank you so much. Oh, for thank you. This was this, morning. this, this was good to see you Thanks folks. Thanks for waking up. Yeah, we appreciate <laughs> for a retired fellow, we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take care.